you can really lead into this fundamental experience of what Zen is all about. First of all, you yourself disappears. This substantial core or, or this invisible I is not there. To think that I am here inside this body and I am a subject independent of other subjects, that's the basic delusion that we all carry that causes so much of this mess in the world. Each of us are invited to have this experience for ourselves, to understand what consciousness not only is, but is right now. And that's our, uh, that's our practice in San Jose. It's a path for living authentically. And we're starving for this in the West. We're thirsting for it. And the simple practice somehow of breathing in and out and gradually coming to still our mind in the here and now opens to us this wellspring of what this life is about and who we truly are. And our daily lives somehow keep us from that. They uh, teach us in all kinds of ways to be defended against the very thing that we're longing for so deeply. I'm an abbot. I'm a one, two, three, one, fourth abbot of the Sambo Kyodan. And uh, I'm at the same time a businessman really sitting helps my business. When it comes to a very difficult situation, you sit one more time, then you go to the meeting. Then somehow, somehow, it is going to solve itself. I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to work with uh, Ryun Roshi, who is so clear and so strong, and uh, I think that's not uh, always the case in the Zen schools. Uh, the Sambo Kyodan uh, was really founded in order to answer this base question about ourselves. As long as there are seekers who are asking the questions that really matter, the questions about who we are, what's this all about, and if they're earnest in that search, Zen does have a place, and Sambo Zen has an offering in that regard. It's the Zen of the Chinese patriarchs that is still being practiced today. So we have this structure of guiding people. This is also very unique. We have a structure, how to guide people to this experience. The experience of the Buddha's uh, own awakening is available to us all. And uh, this is what uh, uh, Sanbo Zen is dedicated to. This experience of what is this world? Who are we? What is this unconditional love that we are soaked in? This is what we call a Kensho in our Zen uh, world. Something exploded physically in my body. And at that moment, there was only this sun in all the, the place. If you pressed me, I would tell you that in fact, I died in that experience. Not a physical death, clearly, but uh, a death to the uh, illusory self. In 20 years, Sambo then will lose Japanese roots. You must take off like a huge jet plane from the soil of Japan. I don't know where to. That's your responsibility. I feel there's a great possibility that true Dharma is going to flourish in this country. We're talking about the aircraft, which is now ready to take off with the Japanese assets, but not with the Japanese personnel anymore. That is the reason why I, I like this, this film. Could be one of the publicity which we are lacking, you know, to invite many people. And I like to do my best, you know, to make this film you know, in a good way.